The age of steam is almost dead, and suddenly, it seems, not only are the trains and stations different, but perhaps more important, what goes on behind the scenes, such as the new method of buying a ticket from machines which print everything on the spot, recording details of the sale at the same time. In practically all backroom activities, electronics have been enlisted to streamline work. In the sphere of accountancy, for example, are electronic computers which can type 700 payrolls an hour, nearly 13,000 per week. This machine alone saves 9,400 pounds a year. Electronics, too, play a part in new methods of goods handling. The Robotug finds its own way around a depot following a single wire below ground. Look, no hands. Few people associate laboratories with the railway, yet here, on the site of what was once a station in North London, constant scientific research into such things as diesel oil is carried out. Here, samples of oil are analyzed by a spectrograph, which can detect metal deposits and can not only find its own evidence of bearing wear or corrosion, but make its own calculations on the spot. But getting back to trains, and in this case, freight transport, here's a novel idea which cuts out the bother of getting the freight onto the train in the first place. The 11-ton road railer has an ingenious rear undercarriage that turns it in 90 seconds from a lorry to a wagon with flanged steel rims replacing rubber tires. Consequently, as a means of freight delivery, it has the flexibility of a lorry that can drive from door to door, avoiding the usual problems of traffic congestion. Inside again, let's look at a depot built specially for the maintenance of mainline diesel locos. A massive glass structure with six roads and split-level maintenance, which can handle up to 150 trains like this. Gone are the days when men in the sheds only saw a white shirt at weekends. While in service, checkups have to be carried out on such aspects as the electrified overhead wires with the aid of this remarkable gondola car. From this mobile laboratory, with its pantograph and other test equipment, engineers can inspect variation in height, wear and endurance under high-speed conditions. New equipment, new ideas, and most important of all, a new spirit of determination to ensure that our railways will soon once again beat the world.